Welcome to Wise Guys. This session is talking about horizontal projection. A ball is thrown horizontally from the top of a 6 meter tall hill with a speed of 15 meter per second. Ignore the air resistance, how far from the point on the ground directly below the launch point does the ball strike the ground? So, given information is a speed of 15 meters per second, and the direction is horizontal. So, it means on the vertical, there's no initial velocity. The height is 6 meters. So, looking for how far from the point, looking for on the ground. So this is looking for the displacement on horizontal. So let's make a picture first. With horizontal initial velocity, 15 meter per second, the height is 6 meter. The ball is doing projectile, horizontal projectile, and finally hit the ground. We're looking for the horizontal distance, which is dx. The given information is horizontal initial velocity and uh, 6 meter high, but also we know it is the free fall on the vertical. So we still said that x is horizontal, y is vertical. With the, the y direction, we said the positive. This is positive. This is positive. Given information is initial velocity on horizontal 15 meters per second. And also we know on the vertical, we have acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, because we said the downward as positive, that's why the acceleration 9.8 is positive. And the dy equals 6 meter also is, po uh, is positive. So to looking for the horizontal distance, we need to think about what kind of motion on horizontal, what kind of motion on vertical. Horizontal with initial velocity 15 meter per second, and because there are no force, ignore the air resistance, ignore the fall, ignore the air resistance, there are no force on horizontal. That's why on horizontal is constant motion with 15 meter per second velocity. So the acceleration on x direction equals zero. And the y direction is free fall with initial velocity equals zero. Initial velocity on y direction equals zero. So we can use the formula d equals v initial time t plus one over two acceleration time t squared. The, this is the formula working both x direction and y direction but we need to separate in different situations. So first of all, we talk about on the x, uh, y direction. On the y direction, we have dy equals to v0y times t plus one over two 
acceleration time t squared. Because initial velocity equals zero on y direction, this is equal zero. So we have dy equal one over two ay times t squared. Because we already know dy is six meter, ay is 9.8. So we can manipulate the formula to find t. To manipulate the formula, we need to multiply two for both sides. So we got two dy equals ay times t squared. And we're looking for t, so divide the ay for both sides. We have t squared equals 2dy over ay. So then we're looking for t. t equals square root of both sides. We got the square root 2dy over ay. Then we can put number into the formula. 2 times 6 meter over 9.8 meter per second square. Now we can use calculate to calculate the answer. We have 2 times 6 divided 9.8 equal and get the square root, square root you call 1.11 second. You got 1.11 second. And then we're looking for on the x direction. On the x direction, we can write dx equals v initial on x direction times t plus 1 over 2ax times t squared. But on x direction, we already say ax equals 0, so that's why the second term equals 0. Actually, dx equals v0x times t. And the x direction and the y direction, actually, you can look back x direction, y direction, actually, when the ball throw down, the x direction at any instant, and you can see on the x is constant motion, y is free fall, Velocity gets big, gets bigger on vertical. Acceleration still keeps same. So that's why they, at the same time. So, the time we look, we find from the y direction, you can use to the x direction because they, they are uh, the motion on the same time. So we can use dx equals to initial velocity, we have 15 meter per second, multiplied the t is 1.11 second, and we can calculate 1.11 1, 1, 1, 1, multiply 15 equals 16.65, we round up to 16.65. 7 meter. So that question. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.